Hi students, I'm Ms. Andres. I'm a second grade teacher at Emerson Elementary. Today we are starting a new unit for Making Meaning on determining important ideas in expository nonfiction and fiction. Let's get started. Here are reading comprehension strategies that we have been using this year. We are adding determining important ideas to that list. Thinking about what is important is a strategy that readers use. When an author writes articles or stories, there are things they really want the readers to learn and to remember. All right, during this lesson, will be lots of time for you to stop and think. When that comes up, just take a few seconds, think in your head. The first question is, what do you know about nonfiction? Think for a few seconds in your head. All right, you might have thought, Nonfiction is about things that really happened. You also might be thinking nonfiction is true and fiction stories are made up. You might have thought that a nonfiction book might have a glossary or a diagram and that nonfiction has facts and interesting information, which is all true. Today I'm going to read you an article. Then I want you to think about what the topic of the article is and what important information is in it. Articles are short pieces of writing that appear in newspapers and magazines and websites and articles can give the opinions of the writer. Today we're going to read The Friendship Fostering Buddy Bench. I want you to stop and think, what do you think The Friendship Foster Buddy Bench is all about? Take a few seconds to think about it. All right, you might have thought this might be about friends, that it might be about ways to make different friends or a bench that buddies hang out on. All right, we're going to start reading the story. We're going to read it two times. The first time, I just want you to think about what is happening in the story and what you learned. Feel free to follow along with the video or read it in your packet. The Friendship Fostering Buddy Bench. December 11, 2013, second grader Christian Bucks noticed that some of his friends seemed lonely on the playground at recess. Then he remembered something he learned of that helps children make new friends at school. He set his mind, which means decided, to make it happen. Bucks initiated, which means started, a buddy bench, a place where you could go and sit if you feel lonely or have nothing to do, and another student will come up to them and ask them if they want to play, or just sit and talk. He says this acts as a way to grow our dream circle of friends. All right, I want you to stop right there and think, what do you think grow our dream circle of friends means? Take a few seconds to think about it. All right, you might be thinking this means a way to get more friends or to have the type of friends we'd like to play with at school. Okay, I'm gonna read that last sentence again. He says it acts as a way to grow our dream circle of friends. Bucks first heard about the buddy bench when his family was considering, which means thinking about, moving to Germany for a little while for his dad's work. He learned of the buddy bench at a German school. He loved the idea right away. He thought it was a great way to help other kids who might feel lonely or left out from time to time, said his brother Allison. Just before school let out for the summer in Roundtown Elementary School in New York, Pennsylvania, this year, Bucks told the principal, Matthew Miller, about the buddy bench and explained why he thought the school should have one. Miller and the school staff loved the idea and even let Bucks pick out the color and style of the bench. All right, we're going to stop right there again. I want you to stop and think, what did you learn from that part? What did you learn? Take a few seconds. Some of the things you might have learned is that he learned about the school or the buddy bench in a German school. Maybe you learned that he got to put it into his own school. Lots of things you could have learned. All right, we're going to keep going. We're going to, we're going to reread that last sentence. Miller and the school staff love the idea and even let Bucks pick out the color and style of bench. The bench buddy is now installed near the playground and Bucks hopes that people will use it and it will help teacher or sorry, help teach students to be kind to each other. Here's a quote at the end. We show we care about others when we ask others to play, Buck said. 
I also hope our, that new friendships will be made because of the buddy binge. All right, go ahead and stop right there. All right, we're going to do another stop and think. If someone were to ask you what this article is about, what would you tell them? Go ahead and stop and think for a few seconds. Okay, you might have said that this article is about a, a student named Christian who wanted to bring a bench to his school to help others make friends. We are going to read the, the article one more time because good readers always reread. So the Friendship Fostering Buddy Bench, December 11, 2013. Second grader Christian Bucks noticed that some of his friends seemed lonely on the playground at recess. Then he remembered something he learned of that helps children make friends at school, and he set his mind to make it happen. Bucks initiated a buddy bench, a place where students can go and sit if they felt lonely or have nothing to do, and another student will come and play with them and ask them if they want or ask them if they want to play or just sit and talk. He says it acts as a way to grow your dream circle of friends. All right, we're gonna stop right there. We're gonna take a few seconds to think. What is the most important thing you learned in the first two paragraphs? Take a few seconds to think about it. All right, some things you might've thought about. You might've thought about how he wanted to create a buddy bench that Christian wanted a way for people to make friends. All right, great, we're gonna read that last sentence again. He says it acts as a way to grow our dream circle of friends. Bucks first heard about the buddy bench when his family was considering moving to Germany for a little bit for his dad's work. He learned a buddy bench of a buddy bench at a German school and thought he and loved the idea right away. He thought this is a great way to help other kids who might feel lonely or left out from time to time, said his mom, Allison. Just before school let out for summer at Roundtown Elementary School in New York, Pennsylvania, this year, Bucks told the principal, Matthew Miller, about the buddy bench and explained why he thought the school should have one. Miller and the school staff loved the idea and even let Bucks pick out the color and style of the bench. All right, we're going to stop and think again. I want to think about what did Christian do to help get the bench at his school? Take a few seconds to think. All right, you might have thought about that he went to his principal to get the buddy bench and told them many reasons why they should get it. He even picked out the color and the style. All right, we're going to keep reading. Let's reread that last sentence. Miller and the school staff love the idea and even let Bucks pick out the color and style of bench. The buddy bench is now installed near the playground and Bucks hopes that people will use it and it will help teach students to be kind to each other. We show we care about others when we ask others to play, Buck said. I also hope that new friendships will be made because of the buddy bench. All right, we're gonna stop and think. What does Christian think a buddy bench, or why does he think that this buddy bench can help the students? Take a few seconds and think. All right, you might have said that the buddy bench would help students make friends because it gives a place for students to meet. It helps students that are feeling lonely or al alone in the playground to talk to other students or find other people to play with. Today we read an article and thought about what we learned and what was important in the article. When an author writes an article or stories, there are things they really want the readers to learn and remember. These are important ideas. We'll have more chances to practice this skill in the next lesson. You can also practice when you're reading at home. All right, students, for the next four weeks at home, you're going to be reading nonfiction and fiction stories. What I want you to do is to think, to look at the poster of thinking about your reading. What's happening in the book? Do you understand what you're reading? Can you read most of the words? And if you can't understand or read most of the words, maybe switch to find a book that is more, um, just right for you. All right, I'm going to show you a book that I'm reading. This is called Malala's Magic Pencil. She wrote this book herself, and it's about a girl that loved going to school, but she lived in a country where many girls were not able to go to school. And so she spoke out and wanted a lot of people to be able to go to school, but people didn't like that. So then they tried to hurt her, but it didn't stop. Her, and she kept on talking about the importance of education. 
So in my reading log, which you might have in your packet, you could write along with it. Here I wrote the title, the author, and what is this story mostly about, which I just told you. What is something you learn as, I, as you read? So I learned in other countries, not all girls were allowed to go to school. Something I wondered about as I read is I wondered if Malala felt scared when the bad men tried to silence her. This is what I want you to do this week with your reading. You could do it on a plain piece of paper, or if you have a packet, you may do it on with that. Can't wait to hear all about the books that you're reading. See you next time.